everybody Ann here. Sorry, no time for coffee. It's been raining all night. I need to go and look at, oh my goodness, look at all this water. Yeah, I guess that is watertight. And I got this little thing almost filled up over here. Oh, I need to go check the wash tub. Let's see. Oh yeah, quite a bit of water. Oh, look at these. These are almost full. Right on. Yep, this bucket's almost full. I've got the black bucket in there. It's filled with uh, water that I got from Mr. Lucas. I'm going to take a shower today. Kind of ironic, isn't it? And look at this. This is working as exactly, exactly as I wanted it to. See? It's just going right in there. This is obviously filled up. And this is almost filled up. So you know what? I need to, I need to collect at least a few gallons of water and I'm going to put some fertilizer in those and uh, use them to water the plants. Uh, oh, even this little thing down here, whoops, sorry. Even that's filled up. <laughs> I just put it under where uh, it's kind of dripping. Oh, and you know what? This kept tipping over um, because this thing just isn't stable. And so what I've done is uh, put these both together, kind of bungee this this way. And uh, it seems to be staying pretty good now. I'm getting plenty of water. Look at that go. This is so cool. Okay, that's about 14 extra gallons there. And um, let's see. This is almost full. And you know what? That barely put a dent in it because the rain is coming down so fast that it's going to start overflowing again in a minute. So, whew, right on. And we're full again. Haha, <laughs> right on. Okay, gosh, do I have any more containers? I need more containers. Hey, remember those fermented veggies? Well, I had been eating some out of my jar and um, just a little bit every day, and they're delicious. And I thought, gosh, I want some soup. I want something with chicken in it. So I used the last of this uh, leftover, I don't know what you call this pasta. Um, I don't know, whatever. Ziti pasta, maybe? So I threw the rest of the jar of those fermented vegetables, including the juice, along with some dandelion greens, of course. Got to have my greens. And a can of chicken. And the pasta. And, uh, well, first I let everything bring, uh, come to a boil. I added a little bit more water, too, and some uh, chicken bouillon. And uh, added the pasta, let it cook up. And you know what, you guys? This is freaking delicious. Well, that was an awesome lunch, and I had an awesome shower, and now I'm going to rack some awesome wine. And I'm just going to dump all of this into the nice sanitized carboy. In fact, everything that the wine comes in contact with has been sanitized with one step. I'm just going to pour it all in, whatever yeast is left floating around, and the raisins. And every once in a while, you'll get a big fat raisin, and it'll kind of clog things up. You just got to stop what you're doing and grab something and kind of poke out a little bit just to get it to go keep flowing. And there we go. We're just going to pour the rest of it in there as much as I possibly can without getting it to the point where it will bubble up too high into the airlock. But most of that really heavy fermentation has been done already. So let's see how much I can get in there almost all of it which is cool yeah I think that's enough I don't know yeah maybe just a little bit more I think we can handle a little bit more in there yeah I think that'll work on here here's what's left in the bottom yep we're not gonna dump that in okay I'm just gonna set it up there awful nice having that tub so I didn't spill things all over the place now I just need to get the bung and the airlock that is filled halfway with water. And it's just going to sit there. Wow, look at that. What is that? Is that another skink? That looks like a bigger, beefier lizard. Looks pretty cool though. I'm going to see if I can get closer to it without it jumping and attacking me. No, that doesn't, that doesn't look like a skink. Oh, that looks so freaking cool. Look at that. It looks like a prehistoric creature. What is it, guys? What is that creature? What are you doing, guy? 
You're not gonna. Oh, bye. I figure no better time than the present to check out these plants and look at the cucumbers have little blooms on them. Blooms are everywhere. Yep. I got blooms here. Oh, looks like that one's gonna be. Oh no, that's not a. That's not a fruit bloom. Uh, yep, got a couple on there. Doesn't look like these have any yet, but right on. All right, these beans are hanging in there. Do I have actually any beans? Or I, did I already pick the only beans that I'm going to have this year? Who knows? I don't know. I'm over it. But I am happy about the cucumber, so. Ooh. How's my Willy Wonka garden going? It's doing pretty good. Those zucchini don't look half bad, do they? Look at that. They're going to have blooms no time. I need to trim back that onion. Phew, I'm just tired today. Let's see. Nothing interesting going on with the dill. I mean, it is what it is. Same old, same old. We do have a little bloom action going on here with this one, which is nice. Nothing really interesting going on here. Had Brussels sprout looks like it's leaning over a little bit. These cucumbers aren't doing anything interesting. This is spaghetti squash. It looks like we're gonna get some blooms on there here pretty soon. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, what are these beans doing? Nothing. They're just doing nothing. But the tomatoes are getting blooms on them. So they're doing they're doing okay. Right on. That must be a watermelon down there in the corner because it's not doing nothing. Uh, I got a couple onions trying to come up. Oh, that zucchini over here is doing okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a few blooms here pretty soon. And so they're doing all right. Uh, let's see, this is butternut squash. Please, please, please let my butternut squash grow. And then none of this is happening. <laughs> yeah, it's doing okay, Mr. Lucas. I'll be over in a minute. Uh, I'll be over in a minute. All right, these are doing pretty much the same. Carrots look like they're trying to come back. Potatoes are growing like crazy. These are growing like crazy, too. And look at my big pepper. Gosh. It's in a weird spot. It's like in the corner. So, that all looks okay. <gasps> Look at this big worm. I cannot let it die. I have to save it. What am I going to do with it? Oh, is it dead? Please don't be dead. Come on. Let's go. <sighs> I got to do something with this worm. Hang on. I'm just going to see if it rehydrates a little bit. If it comes back to life. I'll go talk to Mr. Lucas and then check it out. Hey, what's going on over here? More blooms? Yep. I'm going to get some fruits on these if it kills me. Uh, let's see. Nothing going on in the potato bucket. <laughs> so that's that. Look at that chamomile. It's getting ready to flower, man. I need to trim some of that off. Yep, I'm going to trim it off and hang it up and dry it and make some tea and whatnot out of it. I love chamomile tea and I also love to make peppermint tea that way too so I could trim some of this off and uh, some of that down there <laughs> I can't be I can't be bothered to go down down there and take photos of it because I am just tired I also removed about a gazillion poisonous mushrooms from my lawn <laughs> that were within reach of Betty so I got footage of all that but I'll show you later uh, maybe like tomorrow or something and I also went berry hunting and well, I didn't really go berry hunting I just went gallivanting again back on um, some parts of my property I've never been and uh, so I got a bunch of footage of that too and I'll show it to you uh, I'm just kind of like paranoid that I've got a tick on me again or something <laughs> I'm so tired you guys oh it's hot and I'm tired and I'm out of ice but I'm gonna be going into town tomorrow because my parents are gonna be here so I'll get some ice tomorrow and um, I don't know if they're gonna want to be filmed or not We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I hope they do, because that would be kind of cute. Anyhow, I'm tired. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.